On this particular car, we got a little bit of problem up front because uh, the windshield and the top are, the top is faced out from the windshield frame, so we're going to have to play with it here. Okay, now I've got just the top edge of the material flat. It's, I didn't stretch it, I just let it lay flat. I come back down to the bottom corner and just take a clamp and just, I'm not trying to move the material at all. I'm just trying to get the material to lay as flat as I can get it to lay. The problem again with this car is it's spaced out here. And it isn't normally this way. In a normal pattern, it's going to be the top to the windshield frame is real easy. But if you can, you know, here, so. I know I've got to get it to the windshield frame, so this I just got to relieve it and hold the, pad, hold the material in, and I'll run another clamp in there and hold it in. So okay, I got that. Now I need to just just stabilize the bottom corner. Okay. Okay, so now I've just got the material laying flat. I can look at it and I can see the car behind it. So um, now I gotta mark it up so we can get a pattern for it. First thing I do is come along the top and I look at the material, I got it laying nice. This is the way the curtain's gonna look. So I just mark the top edge of the roof. All the way to the back. When I get in the back, I always split my curtains on the in the center of the radius. So I just put a little down line. That's where my zipper is going to go. That's going to be the edge of the material in the back. Um, rats! I should have moved that back. Well, we don't usually book by a. No, that's going to be okay. Um, so now I'm going to do the profile. I got to draw a profile of the way the curtain is going to sit. When I come down here. I just find a tire opening, I draw a line on it, I just trace the, basically the outside of the car. And I'm right on the bottom edge of the floorboard now. You know, and in any of the, my lines don't need to connect, I just, when I get it back to the table, I'll lay a straight edge there and uh, connect everything. Now I'm at the front of the car. I'm just going to put a straight line on the front edge of the windshield frame. So that's where the Velcro is going to stop, or the edge of the Velcro. And just follow it down. And the beautiful thing about the Viscally is you can see through it, so you can see what's behind. Okay, so what am I going to do on the bottom edge here? This is normal precedent. Again, I, do, I mark... Uh, edges of everything so then this will come down through and we'll just finish that off in a straight line normal bottom of the press line. The next thing I do is I trace out the handles. Um, so that if there's ever a question I need to set a pattern back up. I always got a handle reference to go to to say yo this is this is the car that I made the pattern from. It was, this is exactly the way it was. You know if it doesn't match here then you know, this isn't, they're not the same car, so stuff doesn't necessarily fit. So, I got that, and this, I'm just going to end this just in front of the tail light. So that when we make the back curtain, it'll come down through and it'll be over the tail light, so we won't have any blockage there. Um, now I got to enter zipper lines, zippers. I always try to put the zipper two thirds of the way back on the handle. So somebody's getting in there, they're not hitting their butt. So I just drop a straight line down, best I can, and I do another one for the front seat. And again, you can. This is where you're going to want the zipper. This is where just zipper ball. So this is a precedent. Four passenger. Four forward. 
And today is 111. Wow. 111 16. So that's how I do the side of the curve. Um, and in a minute here, we'll do the back. Okay?